What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Capsuck and today I'm gonna show you how to hack your screenshots in Vox AM. Now if you saw the previous video, the no UI challenge you would have saw that I removed many parts of the UI through the code. Obviously I forgot to show you how to do that until today's video. I'm gonna show you how to do that along with making your screenshots 100 times better with this really easy and simple trick. So now let's hop into it and let me show you how to do it. Before we can get into the nitty gritty of removing items and making our screenshots perfect, we need to open developer tools. Developer tools is a place where you know developers can use to debug, but normal people like us who don't actually code the games, we can change the HTML, the CSS, or even the JavaScript of some part. So to do this, you first want to hit F12 and boom. There you go. Develop tools pops up. Obviously, it's this panel to the right. If you hover over items, you can see sometimes the entire screen to the left will get highlighted. And right here at the divider, you can drag this left to right to increase the size in case you don't want to scroll to the left and right for longer things like right here. Now, if you don't have F12 on your keyboard, you can also hit Control Shift I to open developer tools like so. As you see, it's already loaded in. Alternatively, you are depending on your browser, they will have a button where you can click, usually close to settings, where you can open up the developer tools for your web page. And now you want to open developer tools when you hop into a game of survival, battle royale, or wherever you want to take a screenshot. So let's hop into a game and let me show you what you need to do. All right. So now I uh, can see that I have a little structure built up and this cap sign is what I want to screenshot. Obviously what you want to screenshot will be different from what I want to screenshot. So make sure whatever you have is ready to go. Because once you remove these items, it is usually difficult to add them back unless you copy and paste them somewhere else, which I'll get to later. So now open up develop tools again. All right, and you should see that your game is sort of pushed to the left. This is kind of important. It might move your crosshair a little bit to the left or right then that's okay so now over here where i'm highlighting you can see all this different code there's also buttons above but we don't need to worry about that because that doesn't apply to us now right here find this where like if you hover over it and it highlights the screen this is important right here there should only be this that says div id equals app this is just pretty much talking about everything that will be on here. So what you want to do is click this arrow. If it's facing forward, you click it until it's facing downwards. And now you have this. This is another class within this division. Open that again. And now you can see these game menu, mini map, chat wrapper, player condition. All of these correspond to the object within the game. Like inventory is obviously the bottom right where your inventory would be. Kill feed is where like if someone dies, it says. Player condition is your health. Chat wrapper is like chat. And then the mini map is doesn't really do much except remove press M for a full map. Obviously you can remove chat and settings, but you can also remove it from here. So now I'm gonna show you what you need to remove if you wanna remove all the things so you can have a good screenshot. You can't remove hands or anything. So we'll just remove things, that, you know, get in the way. So first what you wanna do is over here on mini map, you wanna click it and then backspace on it. And now you can see a press sim is gone. Then on player condition, you want to remove that as well. You want to remove kill feed as well, inventory, and you can also remove chat wrapper, or you can remove it from the settings. But I'm just going to remove it from game dev. Now, when we close developer tools, you can see that the chat is gone and all those unessentials are gone. And you can see our screenshot would be awesome. Now, this would be perfect for your average person. But if you want to go even further, you can open up settings and change your crosshair to make it smaller. Obviously, you want to do that before the screenshot. I forgot to do that because once you remove all those unessentials, you can no longer open settings. So just remember that once you do this, it is a one time thing. If you want to add it back, just open up developer tools again and make sure to paste back in the code if you copied it. So yeah, just a tip for making sure you can open up everything back is to copy the code that you deleted and add it back. Or you can always just reload the game and join it again. But if it's a battle royale game, then well, too bad. So yeah, that's how you remove all the non-essential stuff. Just get out your favorite screen recording or screenshot technology and you can just screenshot everything without 
these non-essentials. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would really like for a subscribe or even a like. If you didn't like it, please leave a comment below explaining why. That's really helpful. Thanks for watching, and as always, subscribe. Thank you.